Hey, I wanted to show you some stuff about uh, the new Gozink 4. Um, you've probably seen this in Gozink 3, but it kind of bears repeating about how easy it is to kind of bring files down to your mobile devices. So here's my iPhone over here, and I want to bring down a copy of this file, a uh, quick contact host, uh, not quick contact host, the local version, quick contact, because um, maybe I've made a modification to it or something. Um, so there's a script built into Gozink that called prep and upload. So I've made some changes to this. Now it's going to upload this new file. So I hit uh, upload and they're all uploaded, which is great. And if I go over to mobile apps, I don't see them. I have to hit refresh. There they are, that's excellent. Okay, there it is. So the cool thing is that now that I've done that, I can get these files really easily onto my iPhone. So what does that look like? So let's start by opening up um, File Maker Go. And this is a little different the first time you open the files and then uh, additional times. So on my network, there's my server and there is Goes and Coasted. So this is the one I wanna grab because it's got this cool little file delivery thing on it, right? My zinced apps. And I actually need both of these. I need Quick Contact, which is the one I wanna play with. There it is, that's great. And now, I'm not quite sure what button I just hit there. And then I need Goes and Mobile also. Awesome. So I'm just going to hit the reset button in GoZinc Mobile and then go over to GoZinc. Go over to GoZinc. Quick contact. All right. So here's my, my mobile file and here's the stuff up on the server. And we don't need that anymore. So let's say that I delete Freddy from the server. And then I come back over here and sync my iPhone. and four records and it's deleted freddy which is great that's the way deletes work in uh, gozing which is really cool so let's um open recent quick contact so let's say that i want to change this file and i need to download now send a new version to my mobile users so let's just go into layout mode and make something really obvious here let's just move the logo all the way over to the left um so i've done that i've I like my changes or whatever. Now I'm going to go, and maybe I've deleted all my uh, all my contacts or whatever, but now let's run this, this packaging script and send this back up. So I don't need a new copy of that, but now I want to send, I want to upload this file. Great, so it's uploaded. So now there's a new version of um, Quick Contact available right here for my users to download, but they don't have to get it from there. They can get it right from within their own application. So if I go to the home screen goes and comes with this little button for, called check for updates. So let's check for updates. And it's gonna say there's a new file available. That's awesome. So let's hit install. And bam, there's the new version of Quick Contact with the logo all the way to the left. So you can see how easy it is to distribute a file the first time to your users and then to distribute the file. I have to stop rotating when I'm doing demos. And then to distribute the file once you're up and running. Um, so some of the new stuff in Gozing 4 we, we really like, including this upload stuff is just very, very cool. Oh, and you'll notice that there's a little email link to this page. So the very first time you send your files out to somebody, you can just email them a link to this downloads page. It's actually to a slightly simpler, simpler version that doesn't have these tabs on it, um, where they can just download these two things and get started. So a really easy way to distribute new files without having to worry about iTunes or having duplicate versions or ending up with like quick contact underscore one on your iPhone. Um, I think you'll really like it. Thanks.